I'm going to hide this behind my back. You do not know what I have in my hand. Singular. Question I have is why crossbows? Why indeed? I've spent quite a bit of time on this this simple little device and I'm thinking at every step along the way of my crossbow making journey what is the point? Why do something that's so obviously complicated that doesn't perform really I mean pound for pound um, as well as a bow, just a plain old bow, why? Well, in my mind, I see an advantage of this if I'm not a pinpoint at 30 yards able to hit a Dixie Cup kind of archer. And so that will be the test when I get this thing finished. And can I, you know, step back from a styrofoam cup or a squirrel-sized object at 30 yards? At, I never claim to be like a Byron Ferguson quality shot as far as you know archery skills I spend more time making them than I do using them but if I can take this thing and and shoot a reasonable percentage killing them styrofoam cups at 30 yards um, then I see the point of making crossbows this is not 4,000 pound crossbow with power stroke of it you know 50 feet and, and so this is I doubt would be um, like a deer um, sized creature killing weapon but small game certainly um, and so let's get right down into the, the the nitty gritty of it what I have so far and I'm actually going to show you the process of putting the raw height on the tip so you will see how to um, up your your technology when I put the raw height on the tips but I've got, let me get this, so there's the, the peg that the string will slide, or will force the string to slide up over that ledge. And I am going to make this out of antler. And you'll say, why I make it out of antler? Well, if it's wet or humid, this thing will swell up and it'll bind. It won't be, will not be a smooth process to like move this peg up and um, get that string over the shelf. This, by the way, deer antler. So it's nice and polished and, and slippery. So the string, barely any friction on there and if you notice this angles this way and this one angles this way it form a triangle if it was tall enough I'm going to round that and then make this a rectangle and not a trapezoid because I think that when it's strung just that angle will cause the string to creep up and I don't care for that um, the peg does go into the antler thing so it's there's a semi round so the string will have you know a good surface to that peg will have a good surface for pushing the string. This, of course, is horn, cow horn, I believe. So that's super slippery. The string will have very little friction as it's sliding over that. Um, I did go ahead and send you back the prod because I had a bag of, I believe it's elk sinew. It's long. Um, two lengths, or a length would do from the tip to the center. And so I don't have that issue with a lighter layer, just a single layer of having like white tail tendons with a lot of junctures. I mean, these are long, so there's very few like uh, joints in the sinew, so it should work out well. And elk is a little coarser than white tail, so I think that one layer will give me something. How did I prepare the back? I did not take my fine tooth saw and go from tip to tip. I did not want to disrupt disrupt. The, the growth ring because this could have been a softball in any way shape or form I did not want to compromise it back so all I did was um, under very very hot hot water Dawn detergent over and over and over again scrubbed the back of this ball to degrease it so that sinew will will, will uh, grip to it and not delaminate when I sized it prior to sizing I heated the bow so that glue would not gel and it was a somewhat thin layer of glue. So I had a, a very warm bow, sized it, soaked in. I'm assuming when the bow cooled off, it helped suck that air inside along with the glue. Did a very good job of sizing it. And again, just simple elk sinew, long. Seriously, the fiber went from here to about the center. And so there's three, basically three. One, two, three 
Although I did it brickwork, it's not just like full full width and then full width and then full width. It's it's layered on there. What else? My project this morning is to do the however I'm gonna have that lever to um push this thing up um, to trip it. I fully admit that it's going to be a while before I'm going to brace this thing because I want that sinew to cure for a while. But that's not going to stop me from putting a different prod on it. I'm sure I have a bow around here that I can just mount to it, um, strap it on, and, and impress you with my shooting ability with a crossbow whilst this is curing, while this is curing. Not going to wait six months for this to fully cure. This is protective layer and not a power layer. And so all I want it to do is be crispy and it'll probably be a month. Um, or even sooner, I can take it to a friend's house and put it on a rack above his wood stove and just bake the, the, the heck out of it. Just bake the heck out of it. Not critical. Um, when this gets hard, you're going to see um, how to put rawhide on the tips which is a handy skill i'll actually do that look at john is actually working in front of your eyes rawhide tips and, and by that time i will have the trigger on it and the trigger mechanism and let's see here maybe another bow on here so then we can see how this thing like operates i didn't go crazy with the power stroke this is eight and a half inches of power stroke you know, I, I wanted to get that compromise between getting an effective weapon and one that's not going to explode and cause me to make a new prod. And that is that. Thank you for watching. Maybe a few beauty shots. Sinew. And it is held in place because it's a good fit with that leather, but it is going to be like stitched here. The horn. And then get that peg out of there for the antler plate. If I was to do anything different on the tiller, I would have carved a ball. I could have done that. I could have had instead of this kind of fishtail thing or or deer hoof, which that's good, you know, paint it black or something, make it look like a deer hoof. It would have been so BA to have a carved ball on the end. That would have been that would have been the cat's pajamas. Definitely. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. And I, I am joking around with um like the, the music videos I put on there. I, <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't even need to say that. I shouldn't.